Hey everyone, it's that time of year again. The weather's getting warmer and so we are taking our focus to the outside of our houses. I'm really working on getting some curb appeal to the front of my house. We've had so many freezes in Texas and my flower beds are just a disaster right now. So I decided that I was gonna go ahead and build myself a set of giant planters. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Come join us as we build this giant DIY cedar planter box. So the first step to building these planter boxes is to build the two long sides. And these are two by four cedar posts that I did not have to rip down because they are already squared off on the sides. And I've drilled pocket holes in all of them except for one, we've got one left. So we're gonna drill one and a half inch pocket holes into both ends. I'm trying not to get splinters because these suckers will splinter you. And did you know that cedar splinters can actually cause like uh, reactions and infections? Uh, no. Yep. But I did I had have... to do a little research because my son got one, one time. Okay, so now we have those pocket holes drilled. So now we're going to assemble the side frames. Okay, so we've got the leg pieces and two longer pieces to make these side frames. And the bottom two by four is gonna be one and a quarter inches from the bottom of the leg. Okay, so tape measure and pencil. We are so pencil. prepared. Tape measure. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go one and a quarter up. So these have some legs and they're not sitting on the ground. Yeah. And then you can do that side. No, I don't wanna, yes. Okay. I, don't, I don't wanna do anything else. Fine. So one of the things we're using on this part is Craig Blue Coat screws. And these are awesome for outdoor projects because they have a special coating on them that keeps them from rusting. And so they're perfect for outdoor applications. I actually like to use them on a lot of my projects just because they're really good screws. Me too. And they're cute, they're blue. What was your inspiration for this project? Why are we building a planter, Ashley? Well, or are I we? I am, <laughs> we're trying. Or are we? <laughs> Valiant effort. <laughs> so I am redoing my front flower beds because we've had so many freezes over the last year and pretty much everything is dead. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity to build some planter boxes and kind of redo my front flower beds. All right, so the first one's done. This is how big these are gonna be. I'm so excited to put these in front of my windows. What's your next step on your computer? Let me, let me look, I'm actually organized today. Uh, so now we're gonna add the short cross pieces to attach them. So I think so it would be best we just not to set it straight up. Should, oh yeah, yeah, yeah we can Just do, do it like that? Okay, yeah. Okay. I was so, making sure they knew I was right about that one. <laughs> Whitney's gonna teach me how I'm thinking about I your, I'm thinking about your sciatica. <laughs> <laughs> we got the front and back frame's done. Now we're gonna add the side pieces so that we can attach them together. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the short face frame, the shorter yeah. face frames. All right, I'm going to go drill pocket holes in this last one if you mm -hmm. wanna go ahead and assemble those. Perfect, so these are our shorter sides, the shorter face frames, and we're gonna face our pocket holes in. These are also one and a half inch pocket holes. So I'm adding wood glue, and this is gonna be flush with my top and flush also with the outside of that board. So one thing about this project, I'm using cedar for this. I think it's probably the best option for an outdoor planter. And cedar is just as expensive as all of the other lumber right now. I decided to go ahead and use the cedar planks for the slats and the front and the side pieces. But if you wanna save on cost, you can use six foot fence slats for the planks on this and it'll save about 60 per two thirds of the price of, I can't think and do this at the same time. Anyway, the fit, the fit slats are about a third the price You of sold the me. Theater. I'm sold. So if you wanna save money, even more money, you can use the six foot fence slats or the eight foot fence slats. They're like a third of the price of the regular cedar uh, rough cut, so there you go. So we're gonna add glue to the tops of these boards right here. And Ash, you know what? I'll go grab it because I'm strong. 
We've got the front frame on top of the side supports and now we're just gonna go back with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue and we're gonna attach these to those legs. Building the box. So we've got both ends attached. Now we're gonna put the cleats on the sides and then on the front and back for those slats. All right, so the cleats are two by fours that I ripped in half and we are going to attach these on each end with wood glue and wood screws, outdoor wood screws. I'm gonna be adding the cleat on this side. So now we're gonna be attaching the longer cleats on the bottom. These are also cut square. Ashley cut these, uh, ripped these down on her table saw. And we're using three inch spack screws to go through the cleat and into our face frame. There we go. Okay, same thing on this side. Make sure that we put the cleat on the right end. <laughs> Time for the bottom slats, Ashley. And I've so already... do you want to lift it and lay it flat? Yeah. Okay. And I have already cut the bottom slats, and we are just going to attach them with nails and wood glue. Awesome. <laughs> Don't need nails. <laughs> so we are using self-tapping two-inch wood screws, one at the end of each of these planks because if we nail them, they're probably, even with wood glue, they are going to give over time and not hold together. So work smarter, not harder. Work smarter and harder at the same time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, so we got all of our planks in this way and now we can start on our sides. So now we're adding our side planks and these are gonna have a half inch space in between each of them and we're attaching them with two and a half inch pocket hole screws. And this is the stance that she told me to use too. Because <laughs> this baby's got some girth. Oh, hold please. I'm in an odd angle. Dear Lord. There we go. We got the side planks on, now we're going to put the long planks on, which I've already cut to size, and we're gonna put those on through these legs with the two inch wood screws, and then we'll go and nail along the top just to make sure that it's all on there securely. All not focacta. I'm assuming these are cut perfectly to size, right Ash? Oh, they should be. <laughs> we shall see. Cute. Thank you. We only have to do the top trim now. Awesome. So you want to move it to the ground? Let's do it. That's so great. we're going to move this to the ground and do the top trim. That way pieces. we can access all the tools that are inside of it <laughs> that we've left inside of it. It's actually also a toolbox. <laughs> it's a little bit heavier now. Oh. The trim that we're going to use on the top of this is the one by four cedar. It's going to be mitered corners. So I am going to measure and cut this as I go. The first thing I'm going to do is make a 45 degree cut right here and then I'll come back and measure for it. That's right, she will. She's gonna do her best, her darndest. I got the trim mitered and I am attaching it to the top of this planter with two inch outdoor wood screws and I'm gonna work my way all the way around. I love what these planter boxes did for the front of my house. They're so cute and they were so easy to build too. This is gonna make maintaining my flower beds so much easier because I can swap things in and out really easily. And it was an easy modification to lift those cleats and add a new bottom so that I save money on soil. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video. Happy, Happy building! <laughs> okay, so the first step to building these planter boxes is to build the long side frame. DoorDash! DoorDash. Lunch is here. Oh, it's gonna be so good. We're gonna do that first. I've already ripped, I didn't rip anything down, actually. I didn't rip anything, actually. Did I? No. So the first step to building these giant cedar, the giant, giant, they're huge. <laughs> that heater is really hot now. Well, it's gonna be 80 today, isn't yeah. that funny? 
<laughs> Hilarious. But okay. I was wondering if we could just set that on top of here and do it like this. Like this. <laughs> did, did you? Yeah. <laughs> It's Can we so actually much. not do it like that? Like I don't know why my sciatica's out. <laughs> Told you it was bad. <laughs> Once my hip starts feeling better, <laughs> I'm gonna redo my front flower beds. I can feel that low pressure front coming in. <laughs> I can't kneel on the ground and do my yard work like I used to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And we're both in black talking about spring. <laughs> hey guys, it's spring. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like <laughs> nailed it. Enter. <laughs> now I'm sweating more. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh oh, Ashley. Sweet Ashley. Ah! I'm sorry, <laughs> it slipped. It's unfortunate we got no bloopers on this one. <laughs> DIY giant cedar box planter. Cedar planter box. <laughs> Try that again. Okay. You just needed a little more Whitney in there. A little less, a little less ash. ash. <laughs> a little less sciatica. <laughs> Anyone like, want to help me in my sciatica move this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna be icing it down tonight. <laughs> <laughs>